Hey, hello ladies and gentlemen, Captain Check here and welcome to another Space Engineers update. Now this one is very cool because we have working guns now. <laughs> That's right, they added some type of like G36. The gun itself, the model has been in the game for a while. Oops, saving. But it hasn't been functional till now. And it's pretty sweet. I mean, you can even get it in first person view. You can run around and blast away at stuff. It won't actually damage the rocks, but it will damage smaller vessels. And you can kind of see the damage that I did to the uh, the fighters that this world starts with. You can tear a fighter in half with this thing faster than you can kill um, kill one with a drill, which is pretty ridiculous. I kind of like it though. The bullets will interact with things that are floating. Oh, that's right. We're still in um, a gravity well. We're in a gravity well, so oh, it's just outside it. Okay, uh, I see. But that's not all they've added. Actually, they just did an update video and they didn't show the gun at all. That was just dumb luck that I happened to test it out and notice that it worked. What I did like in the test video is the new motor mechanics. They've actually added quite a, uh, a bit to the engines in the game, to the motors. So let's, uh, let's see here. Let's grab a small reactor and I will show you guys the new functionality of the, of the motors because you can damn near do almost anything with these things now. Uh, with a couple exceptions. So we'll build something real quick. Just throw together a, a lighthouse with one light. There we go. Oh, that's way too plain. We'll paint it red because why not? All right, so I put the reactor here so I have a control panel to use to make it easier. Everything should be powered because I have gravity, so. What you do is you go up to your control panel for your motor and you'll notice all these new options. You've got torque, which is the uh, the power and the rate of, you know, the, uh, the acceleration for the actual motor itself. You've got braking torque. If you put the motor into the off position while it's moving and have braking torque to zero, it'll just continue to spin. So that could be a way of like saving power, saving fuel on your ship later on. Uh, velocity is pretty self-explanatory. You've got your two different directions. That was more or less all we had before. And now you've got your limits. You can actually set limits. So I can set it to turn my upper limit at uh, 200 degrees from, from zero. And now that's all it'll move. And then we'll flick it on. We'll take a look at it. And there you go, and it'll stop at 200 degrees. And with the braking torque, it stayed stopped. So let's go back to the motor. Now you can imagine what you can do with this. Now I was thinking you could build a door with it, but there are some issues. And right now, if you have other blocks near the sides of it, it won't allow you to place them. So it makes building things like doors kind of difficult, but it's still doable. Let's go ahead and turn that uh, do, 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 do. Oh, that's right, that thing doesn't have power because you can't transfer power on the other side of a, uh, like here's the motor. The motor actually breaks the power coming from the station to the blocks that it's attached to. So if I wanted to say power that light, I don't know if this is really an issue, but you have to have another reactor up there and now I'm gonna have to fly up there and use that reactor to turn on the reflector. So is that an issue? Not really, it's just kind of a, a different functionality. One cool thing that I did find out, that I did notice, if you start a small ship, oh crap, I'm gonna ram it. Yep, ah, uh, bye ship. Well, I can do it real fast. Well, we'll just do it on this building spinny box. Throw a couple blocks on there. Give it a reactor. Actually, just give it a gyroscope and that would stop it. Do, do, do. Where's our gyroscope? Gyroscope, throw a gyroscope on. There we go, gyroscope stopped it. You, they actually scale, so you can put small motors on. I hadn't tried that until this patch. Didn't even think about it. Now you got a little tiny motor. But there, there's the issue. I can't place blocks on it. I can't attach anything to it because there's blocks nearby it. So kind of an issue when you're trying to build things like a doorway or anything close into each other. 
All right, fly back to the station here. So yeah, that's pretty much what they've added. I can't wait to see what the community comes up with for this patch. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. I'm way more excited about the weapon, the fact that the gun's in, because that makes me think maybe as soon as multiplayer comes in, we're gonna have some type of interesting game types. Team Deathmatch, where you take your builds in and try to board the enemy ship, or even in survival mode, that's gonna be fun. Oh, you even have an iron sight. I mean, think about survival mode with like pirates flying around and you need resources to fix your ship. So you design a uh, boarding craft that'll pop a hole in the enemy ship and you can board and have a firefight on the interior. And they've already got the ability to crouch. You can look down the sights. Now all we need is like flash grenades and a few more tools to make combat fun and interesting. And then a way of scripting objectives so capture the flag a drop point for the you know for the capture would be cool oh shit there was a hole in my ship <laughs> all right guys well that wraps up this video if you enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up button subscribe here to tgn for more gaming goodness and as always thanks for watching i will see you guys in more spotlight videos of space engineers and all kinds of good stuff later guys